Welcome to Santa Monica. Today we're gonna to show you some of our favorite places. If you love people watching and yummy food and an awesome spot to watch the sunset, stick around. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. So this is the oldest restaurant and bar in Santa Monica and it was one of our favorites for a long time. It doesn't open till five so we can't go in right now, but great seafood and a really good cocktail, cozy and dark. Main Street's really fun to walk around. There's just like some great restaurants and little cafes. It's a really kind of groovy, like healthy area of town. And it's also the younger side of town. But, uh, and then just a couple blocks down is the um, park and the beach. Um, but let's go get a coffee right now. As you can see, this place is really popular. We've got oatmeal raisin cookie, and we have a cappuccino coming. So we're gonna go into Big Dean's to get some lunch. This is a great place if you have a group or you wanna watch a game or you just wanna have like a casual yummy lunch and a cold beer, this is perfect. So Big Dean's Classic is a double meat, double cheese burger, and the Frings is a combination of onion rings and french fries. So this is the famous Shea Jays that you saw if you watched the miniseries Goliath. And the Ocean Lodge next door is the motel where he stayed in. And it's just an iconic Santa Monica spot, really good strong cocktails and sawdust on the floor, the whole bit. So if you have a fondness for posh grocery stores like I do, um, this one is one of my all-time favorites there one. It's amazing people watching. You're likely to see somebody famous, but even if you don't, just sitting on the patio with a sandwich or a smoothie is just very entertaining and great food, delicious. Um, if it's in there, it's healthy. That's their motto. And um, yeah, it's just really fun. It's quite a vibe. The stuff they have in the skincare and soaps aisle is so fun to look at. 
So bummer we lost the audio on this, but look at how amazing this sushi looks. The cuts of tuna are so big, and this cost us like $13, I think. So yes, things are expensive, but you can get an amazing and delicious lunch here. And you can sit at the tables outside, but here we are just having a little car picnic because it was cozier, and also because you have to be careful about parking around there. Um, your meter runs out, and they're there in one second to give you a ticket, so... The man, the myth, the legend, Anthony Bourdain. Even though I cook, I don't follow a lot of chefs, but Anthony was one that I looked up to for his love of travel and cooking. And uh, we miss you, Anthony. Thanks for all your contributions. Guys, so this is a little off the beaten path, but it's really beautiful and relaxing to walk on the neighborhood streets north of Montana after you've spent some time in the shops and the restaurants. Um, just take a stroll. The homes are beautiful, the gardens are amazing. It's, it's kind of like walking in a park, um, but getting to experience some of the local energy here. It is so quiet here compared to where we live. Mm -hmm. Love all the trees too. Yeah. You know Santa Monica's known for its urban forestry. Yeah. And you can feel it. They take care of the trees a lot. This is by far one of our favorite spots on this side of town. It's so cozy, as you can see. The drinks are really, really good. The menu is simple but delicious and filling, and you can find something for anyone. Service is great, and um, yeah, it's just a really nice scene. This is not normally a place that we frequent except for a sunset. It's really, really awesome because, I mean, look at this view. The drinks are like 20 bucks a pop, but it's worth it for this. Like, this is amazing. All right guys, so we're gonna to top the evening off at Casa del Mar. It's a beautiful hotel on the water here, just south of the pier. Um, they've got jazz in the lounge with couches and a nice cozy scene. And so we're excited to show it to you. don't think of coming here because it's a really fancy hotel but listen to this jazz it's so good they have a really cozy it feels like your best aunt's place like it's just a cozy um, living room vibe uh, they have whatever you want if you want to order drinks or something but you don't even have to you can just sit and enjoy the music 
can dress up if you want it. Like dressing up is totally appropriate, but also like as long as you're low key, it all works. And it's just such a um, awesome way to enjoy live music. <laughs> 